reasons. Uh, when a commissioner leaves office, the reasons why they would. And I just want you to follow me here on our Super Bowl to just take um, a look at the facts according to the IEBC Act and the law. So let's just see that vacation of office by a commissioner, exactly what Rosalind Akombe has done today. And uh, this, of course, is governed by Section 7 of the IEBC Act. And it goes on to say the office of the chairperson or a member of the commission shall become vacant if the holder, first of all, dies. Of course, this is uh, this is some of um, the, the scenarios uh, about quite a number of uh, public offices. Uh, so this one particularly, if the office holder dies. Secondly, if uh, the person resigns from office by notice in writing addressed to the president. And this is where Rosalind Akombe is. She, of course, uh, released that statement uh, saying that she's going to be uh, leaving IEBC uh, uh, for uh, reasons that she gave uh, in that statement. So this is where she uh, she is right now. Whether she has already done this in writing the president, uh, we wait to see. Remember that she was doing this. This statement was released from New York, where she currently is. Also, in the... Another ground there is removed from office under any of the uh, circumstances, under any of the circumstances specified in Article 251 and Chapter 6 of the Constitution. Remember, Chapter 6 talks about integrity, leadership and integrity. So in case there's anything that is found, uh, that she or he is found culpable of with regard to uh, Article 251 or Chapter 6 of the Constitution, then that would also warrant uh, a commissioner from being removed from office. So that is just one of the other scenarios. So we have three of them. If the commissioner dies, if they resign like what Akombe has done, or if they're removed because of leadership and integrity issues. Remember, we also have the issues to do with bankruptcy, among other things, gross violation of the law. These are also held in that chapter 6 and article 251 of the Constitution. Moving on swiftly to... Um just what happens next? The president shall shall, uh, shall publish a notice of a vacancy in the Gazette within seven days uh, of the occurrence of such a vacancy. And remember that we have an election coming up in these seven days. And therefore, once the president receives that formal writing or formal letter of resignation from uh, Dr. Rosin Nakombe, then this gazettement will be done within seven days. Seven days, we're talking about the next, um, the next Thursday, which is the day that we should be having in that October 26th election. Moving on here. Now, this one says that whenever vacancy arises under sec subsection 1, the recruitment of a new chairperson or member under this act shall commence immediately after the declaration of the pres of, of the vacancy by the president. So remember, it's a, it's a, it's a process, actually. Uh, if the scenarios or if the reasons that are, have been given, uh, that I gave earlier, if the commissioner dies, resigns, or, of course, is found culpable of any gross um, misdoings, uh, then... Uh, the uh, the president, of course, is notified, and then he's going to be having that gazette uh, gazettement of um, the vacancy within seven days. And then finally, we have that declaration of the vacancy by the president. And therefore, this is the time now we initiate another process to actually replace uh, this public officer. So remember that we only have seven days to this uh, repeat presidential poll. Uh, her resignation has really uh, thrown the country, uh, you know, into uh, some support surprise really just what is going to be happening uh, after that shortly also we'll just be taking a look at who else is left in the commission All right, so as you've seen, that is just the process, really, of uh, 